only deal with fire, we passing on all the weak ish. Talk to pure culture, ain't none of that hype beast ish. Nah, this beginning to the end, no. Always keep it G, ain't nothing here for pretend, yo. Yeah, so you should want to lift your friends, know the God of the sneakers get blessed by Saint Hendo. I'm out. Back at it again. So, this sneaker today, this is the one that, in my personal opinion, this changed the whole culture. This is what was a big stepping stone for the way the culture is now as far as resale values. This, this to me, set a lot of standard in how the game is played today as far as sneaker culture, um, which is LeBron South Beach 8. Now, this box has seen better days. Don't, I don't want you to judge me off the box, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Yeah, but this the OG box. These are the OGs. I know they're supposed to be retro in these next year, but you know what I'm saying? I'll probably try to grab those too. Uh, bagged up as usual. You know what I'm saying? All right, so I didn't get these on release. Like, I got these after the fact. So, and I'm the kind of guy, like, I wear mine. Like, I'll get to them. It might take a while, but I get to them, but I don't baby them like that. Like, they, they get worn. All right, so here we go. South BJ. This sneaker, like you can tell, like you can tell, like the worn toe box. You know what I'm saying? Like it just over time, it's just what it is. This sneaker, this colorway, the big decision, all that stuff, like everything. This was one of the, the top sneakers to go crazy, to drive the internet crazy, like the industry crazy. I, I don't, I don't know what's so impactful about that, about him going to Miami, but it was a big thing. When he made that decision and then Nike and Jason Petrie is the one who designed the shoe. This was what put Jason Petrie on the map. This is what put, to me, this is what put LeBron's brand on the map. This, this silhouette, this colorway, this sneaker, this is it. This set the bar for what to expect from Jason Petrie from that point forward. Highly sought after sneaker. Obviously this is one of LeBron's most sought after sneakers, but see, you got the lion face. All right. Uh, I mean, what more can I say? But these are, I believe, V1s. Yeah, these are V1s. There's V2s and V1s. So um, the V2, I mean, the V1s have fly wire nipped into this. Like, I don't know if some people know or don't know, but in these, these lips right here, these like, I guess these edges in here, these plastic portions are fly wire. But in the V2s, it's not flower wire. It's like hyperfuse. It's not the same stuff. So it's a just like before when I used to do. Um, let me think. They would do LeBron. Let's say LeBron tens. Then you had LeBron ten post seasons or LeBron ten elites and all that. That's same thing. But this was before all that. This was just when they did V1s, V2s, V3s. So each one has a different aesthetic to it that's a little different than the last one but they all came out around the same run so it's the same stuff but just little tweaks to it to make it a little different so maybe the like v1s had like the, some of them had like the black the red ones had suede uh red and then you have some that's just solid leather it's not really tumbled leather i mean it's tumbled in a sense but it's not nothing premium so there's, there's nothing to it it's just the fact that this sneaker the quality of it was it was ahead of his time for LeBron's line. It wasn't anything, that's just my opinion. Like, I, I don't want you to take that and run with it like as if I'm just stating all these facts. This is me talking. Like, the quality of this before this, other than the fours, I don't know, that was, yeah. The fours, but the fours were just like phone posits. So that, I guess that really doesn't count. Like, not saying the quality doesn't count, but the quality on that is a phone posit. It's gonna be what it's gonna be. But these, these were different. These actually had like hits of quality in it. Like the leather is different. Like the tongue with that, that heavy detail on that lion face, with the eyes different color, with the different laces. Like this came like this. Stop! This is it. This is out the box. Like it's it's done. This was the pinnacle of what LeBron's were supposed to be. This was it. Nothing different. Nothing more. Nothing less. This was it. And other sneakers he put out, it was decline and like the quality and how things are. But for the most part, this right here set the bar for the for the industry. Because this is what people were trying to catch up to. Nike played this colorway out so much, it was ridiculous. They put this on everything because anything you put this on was selling. Any sneaker you put the South Beach colorway on was selling. That was it. 
that it's the same thing Jordan Brand is trying to do with shattered backboards. Like they're trying to put that shattered orange and black colorway, orange, black, and white colorway. They're trying to throw that on everything. Like it just it doesn't work with everything. Like this this sneaker is more nostalgic. It's not just a colorway. It's it's the actual process and everything that went into this sneaker becoming a sneaker. From the moment he said, I'm taking my talents to South Beach until Jason Peacher got his hands on on this design and decided to put this colorway on his sneaker. That's how impactful the sneaker was. It changed a lot in marketing and everything because just him saying those words and going there and making this color, but at Miami field, at Miami South Beach field, this is it. This right here set the bar. I can't stress that enough. Like I don't, I mean, people can disagree all they want, but you can't disagree with the facts and the numbers that this number that this sneaker pulls like the resale of this is ridiculous even now the og sneaker is outrageous probably like a thousand for like a size 12 maybe 1400 now and this is like i don't know how many years later what eight years that's that's crazy and even people i mean this is this sneaker does numbers no matter when this comes out this is like a jordan 11. no matter when this drops no matter how many times they retro it this is always will always do numbers constantly it will never not do numbers just because of what it is, the nostalgia behind it. Like the Jordan 11 Bread 11s, the Concords and the Space Jams will always do numbers. Always. It's never going to die down. No matter how trash they may be, it's always the next generation coming up or the next guy from last year that didn't have the money. It'll always be that way. So, but these, this is one of my must-have, what no other option, I'm going to get these in my lifetime. These were a grail for me. Like, I couldn't, I couldn't live without them. There wasn't no other way around it. Like, okay, maybe that was a little excessive. I mean, I could live with it. But still, though, point being, I had to have them. Like, this was something on my bucket list type of thing. There wasn't no way around it. I had to get these. These, uh, what's another one? Like, the Big Bangs, another one. Had to have them. No way around it. Those are two classic silhouettes. South Beaches and the, uh, and the Big Bangs. Big Bang Nines. Have to have those. So, this is probably one of my favorite. The model itself, between the 8s and the 10s, probably two of my favorite LeBron silhouettes. I, I don't I don't know any other sneaker in his line that can hold up to this or the tens. These are paramount in his collection. And hands down, some of the best silhouettes, best colorways that they put out was in tens until they got like, all right, so like the 15s. So that's when they started actually mixing sneakers. And that's a, that's a different plateau though. That's, that's not just colors. We talk about taking pieces from other sneakers and tossing them on a current sneaker from old sneakers that's that's another level but as far as this at that time this was it and even today this is it you pull these out on any day people will notice people will know what these are as as much as they'll know a jordan 11 from a distance they'll know these from a distance they might not know any other lebron sneaker but they'll know these hands down they will know these i just want to give you guys a quick look get my opinion on this sneaker um, because this is a classic. I don't care who you are and how you feel about LeBron or how you feel about his line. This sneaker is a classic. If it's not a classic to you, just know it's a classic to the culture. This will forever be historical sneaker for not just LeBron, but for the culture. All right? But yeah, but that's it. That's all I got. Appreciate it. That's like it. As always, I appreciate y'all stopping by. And we will definitely do this again. I'll keep the content coming. Stuff you've seen, stuff you haven't seen. All right? So we'll start posting a few things that you haven't seen. All right? All right. Well, I appreciate it. Thanks again. Later, y'all. Got more kicks than the soccer league. The savior of the game, you feel me? You gotta beat this. Talking Kobe Jordans and Bronze, D Rose Adidas. Already know the name and caliber for the street ish. Only deal with fire, we pass it on all the weak ish. Talking pure culture, ain't none of that hype beast ish. Nah, this beginning to the end, no. Always keep it G, ain't nothing here for pretend, yo. Yeah, so you should want to lift your friends, know the God of the sneakers get blessed by Saint Hando. I'm out.